take two and three, two, one. Hello, welcome. Thanks for joining us under the library where we play Call of Cthulhu and record it and put it on the internet for your entertainment. We ended on a cliffhanger in the last episode, so let's get right to it. My name's Arthur. I'm playing Harold. I am joined by an amazing <laughs> cast of investigators who are making faces that I am not paying attention to. Chris is playing Bo. Rick is Philip. Emily's Florence Potter. Wayne is Oak Tree. Scott's Yocker. And our keeper, whose intro I am so excited to hear tonight, is Michael. <laughs> Michael, take the reins. Good luck. Thanks for joining us in Bloodstone. Bloodstone is a Call of Cthulhu RPG with themes of horror. And as such, uh, might feature things like cannibalism, decapitation of Yocker, cutting off the other arm of Yocker, Yocker falling in bear traps, Yocker being trampled by various beasts, but we'll see. Uh, the mature themes are played by immature people and we hope you join us. And with that, Emily, take it away. Man, as much as I wanted you to fuck that up horribly, you killed it. That was great. Well done. So last week, as we began, Oak Tree and Bo were digging up a corpse that we found beside the trail. And they released a swarm of fire ants, which promptly crawled up their shovel handles and started to attack them. And after a rather lengthy discussion for people being attacked by fire ants, they decided <laughs> they could not <clears throat> set a fire to burn the ants because of, you know, discovery attention and ended up just deciding to deal with it. So they keep digging and they eventually find that there is one adult sized body and also two child sized bodies and the woman was shot in the back. Florence at this point recognized the bodies as the women and kids that she spoke to on the train who was with the man who was very threatening to her. Oak Tree swears to find that man and rectify the situation. Uh, Bo examines the bodies further and at that point a half ant eaten rattlesnake jumps out of the corpse and bites his dominant hand. Phil takes a look at the wound and ends up amputating his arm at the elbow. I have lots of details on that, but I will not share them at this time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Philip wants the arm, but Florence convinces everyone that it's better, <laughs> oh my God, uh, <laughs> to bury it with the bodies. Hours wasted, it is almost sundown, and we camp on the prairie. Morning, day five. Bo moans profusely. The stitching, the flesh around the stitching is puffy and red. He uh, realizes his arm is gone. Oh, should have said that first. He realizes his arm is gone when he wakes. It's puffy and red. He agrees, however, to travel with us. Yocker takes his morning pill and feels really good, hasn't felt this good in years. We continue on along the trail. We don't see any more mounds, but we did see a large pile of bear dung travel most of the day. Bo is suffering pretty badly at this point. And we also lose the trail without him in like a good enough shape to track for us. At this point, there is a loud boom. Florence's horse falls, screams. Florence flips off the horse and falls. There are some more cracks. Uh, Philip and Harold's horses also go down <clears throat> and one of the horses at the wagon, uh, pulling the wagon. And as we ended for the night, we realized they had stepped in giant bear traps and Yocker, one-armed Yocker had jumped down to calm the bear trapped horse and the untouched horse uh, and then rolled a hundred. It's going to be fine, Yocker. Mm -hmm. You're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. It's all okay. The keeper is muted, by the way. Man, <laughs> all that goodwill 
from nailing the disclaimer, you just <laughs> screwed the pooch, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. It's going to be a really long night. <sighs> so, Yocker, since we took some time to examine the fire ant decision, should we, we talk about what compelled you to think that this would be a good idea? before we get into the consequences? Sure. Um, so it, it's my, it's Yocker's uncle's team and he's gonna take care of it. And Yocker has lived his life sort of taking care of things. And so he's not gonna let anything happen without stepping up to do something about it. And it's, uh, it's also horses you know really well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know the horses and I've had these things for, you know, my entire or their entire lives and one of them's suffering and I don't want him to destroy the wagon or the other horse. I didn't know I was going to roll a hundred <laughs> <laughs> for what it's worth. Chances were pretty right. low, actually. <laughs> I, wa I wasn't thinking, hey, I'm going to really, really mm. do poorly on the roll. But <laughs> I mean, to be honest, even if I knew I still would do it because you know, Yocker's going to be Yocker. Yeah. A, a Yocker's got a Yocker. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going <clears> to <throat> leave this up to fate here. I've got this cool dice. I don't know if y'all can see it, but. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes. uh, yeah. I saw oh, my God. Oh, yeah. wow. Oh, my yeah. So it's uh, a, it, it's a 12-sided die, and it just shows uh, a human form, and then it's got all hit of these locations. marks. Yeah, for hit yeah. locations. Wait. I'll, I'll, although one what, side what doesn't was... work very well for Yocker, you know, like th yeah. this one that, that What if that it. happens? If that happens. Is that huh. a reroll, or he gets yeah. fine? No, then that's reprieve, right? That's the gods. Mm. That's the yeah. gods saying, hey. Well, the real mistakes question were is... made. <laughs> <laughs> The real question is, how many times are you rolling that, Michael? Yeah, yeah. Are you rolling at advantage? Yeah. If he gets Shut trampled up. Up, Dick. and then wrapped around the wheel of the cart. <laughs> well, then, can let's, can let's I see say, how far my 18 hit points go? Can I say, you? I rolled and you were, you were about an arm's length away from reprieve. Does that make you feel better? <laughs> oh. oh, wait, hold on. Um, did, did this happen? <laughs> we need someone with a sound effects board just uh riding shotgun with just this, ready uh, the show yeah. dude I, I have a sound effects board and would be more than happy to use it um but the keeper has already voiced his displeasure at that oh <laughs> uh, well i didn't necessarily mean goofy ones i mean like even like ones that fit the mood right like uh you know I was like say the sound of flesh tearing. I was going to say chipmunks, but what I meant was crickets. So, it... oh. is that like the sound of flesh tearing? Is that close enough? No, 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 no. That, that was a bone snapping, wasn't it? Oh. It's more like the sound of a flock of butterflies. I don't know. If you... <laughs> oh wait, is that this? Yeah, a flock of butterflies. All right, let's get to killing Yocker. That's pretty much butterflies. Okay. <laughs> All right, Yocker. So you jump down to sue the horses in a fit of adrenaline-fueled uh, idealism. And uh, what are the horses' names? Oh. Uh, Nay and Winnie. All right. Aww. Yeah. And who's... So wait, who, who, who got snapped, Nay or Winnie? The one on the right. Who's the one on the right? Wait, the, that's Winnie. On uh, Yocker's right or facing the horses right? Oh my God! All right, so you jump down to try and soothe Winnie, and there, there's a lot of chaos right now. And um, you go to reach up to grab the reins and try and soothe Winnie, and Winnie comes straight up. And with that leg that's kind of caught in the bear trap, just cold clocks you right across the face. So from, let's see, who would be on the right hand side here of the, of the wagon? I think Florence was on the other side. 
and then uh, Phil and Harold, your horses went down. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So um, yep. from yeah, so y'all rolled off. You're probably if you want to roll a spot hidden to see if you see this, you can. But you're probably also kind of trying to figure out what the hell to do with your own horses. And Yocker goes sprawling um, after getting kind of clocked with this bear trap. Do I do I fall into another bear trap? Head first, yes. <laughs> Head first right into a bear trap. <laughs> yeah, Michael rolled head wound. The no, dice, no, I, uh, <laughs> dice doesn't lie. I didn't roll a head wound. Um, it's you don't go head first into the bear trap. You uh -oh. go amputated shoulder into the bear trap, and it snaps pretty much right into. Is this the clavicle, Rick? Oh, what what do we? Where, where, are we, where, are you, where are you pointing? Uh, yeah, like like right right rib, right in this region. Rib cage oh, too. Jesus, yeah, that's like clavicle snaps down some ribs. If it's on the backside as well, you got your shoulder blades and your mm. scapula. It's uh, it's his uh, whole yeah, rotator. Yeah, when your shoulder down. blade and your scapula get hit, you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, and so and was that your non? What was what side <laughs> of your body is that? That's not my dominant. I okay, that, so. That, rolled for that i know that was a uh, uh, yeah no last time yeah so anyway so it um it goes crashing through right crushing kind of your uh your clavicle and your shoulder blade there's um a sickening crack that harold and phil hear and i take two hit points of damage or 11 Oh, oh. <laughs> you, take a, total? you take 11 as those bones are crushed and pierce your lungs, right? Oh. Uh, seems kind of appropriate. Is that what would happen, Rick? Like, Yeah, I mean, top of your lungs are there. So he'd end up with like a, a newer thorax on that side. It, 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 it's not going to be good. Yeah. <laughs> so wait, is this uh, the, the side of the stump or... Yeah, this is the okay. stump side. Okay. Yeah. That's why I said he was an arm's <clears throat> length away from, you know. Wow. It's like a shark bite. Yeah. Woo! I'm not dead yet. How many hit points do you have? Seven. Holy shit. Hey, I have seven too, seven, buddy. All right. Uh, but the blood coming out of your mouth and that metallic taste in there as you uh, uh, kind of start to lose consciousness from this wound um, probably not a good sign. Well, that took a turn. Who wants to play now? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I, uh, can, but in my last gasping breath, can I take one more of my pills? <laughs> oh, do do you really? Is that what you're if doing? I can, Don't yeah, go. I... Save some of those pills for me. <laughs> you won't need them anymore. If I if I have it if I have the wherewithal and the ability, I'm gonna pop one of those pills. Okay, uh, make a roll. I'm not gonna tell you what it's in. Make a roll. Okay. Ooh, uh, eleven. Oh okay. shit. I needed a one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what's your luck, Jocker? Holy shit, I don't know. Were you already looking at your new character? Fifteen. Yeah. Stop looking stop looking at your new character. You think I'm gonna kill you <laughs> off that easy? I like torturing Yocker. <laughs> it's actually the subtitle to the show. Bloodstone, torturing Yocker. All right. Um, what are y'all doing? Oh, uh so wait, wait. Uh, so did I take the pill or no? Yeah. In my you last gas before I pass out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You got it down. Mm, washed it you down used... with a mouthful of blood. I was just about to say. Just use you just said last gas, Yocker. I mean. Mm. Mm. Um, the, the horse, the wagon is going kind of crazy because the one horse is um, jumping up and down. And Oh, uh, can I fly out of the, can my body fly out of the wagon and land in a bear trap? <laughs> <laughs> right next to me. Oh God! 
right next to me. And then the well. funny thing is, and then you go flying up in the air and then land on oh. me. <laughs> I forgot it's not an open wagon. I keep I keep thinking it's an open wagon. Yeah, I'm Bo's it belly too. Um, all right, and then. Uh, so the, the one horse that is in the wagon is like going nuts and the other one's panicked. So the wagon is starting to take off, uh, in a direction, uh, it's keep going forward and it's got Bo in there and, Phil. Uh, um, well, I thought Phil was in there cause he was treating so no. Oak tree, no. uh, they, Oak tree when he was in front, so he's going to have to turn around and see. Now, question is, you know, a bear trap is meant to go into a bear leg, which is incredibly huge and muscular. Yep. Yeah. And it would go into a horse leg, it would just shatter it, and that leg right. would be dangling. There's no fixing it. So yes. that whole, the horse is done for. Yes. So knowing that, uh, since he's a gunfighter, uh, Oak Tree recognizes the situation and the danger of it, of this wagon potentially flipping with Mr. Bow in the back and Yonkers on the ground. And he pulls out, well, actually he was counting, he was carrying a shotgun. That's right. Mm -hmm. So he he uh sees the situation with the bear traps too. So he um I have to what would be the you know, it's just guessing now, like the space between the horse and where he is, the wounded horse. How far would that be? Uh not I mean, probably not far because of the way the other horse yeah. uh, you know, leg ding is now kind of hobbling down and the other one's pulling it's it's not a okay um so considering uh that the situation and uh figuring out as quickly as you can with these bear traps he would take some steps back in uh in the steps he had taken so he doesn't step in one looking down but he would quickly uh, discharge his shotgun dispatching the horse okay make yeah. a make a roll on Winnie. that yeah it's gotta happen are you in the wagon Oak tree. No, he was in front on foot, remember? Because I don't oh, ride horses. So okay. he was moving on yeah, foot. Guess... That's how I guess he avoided some bear traps. Am stuff. I alone in the wagon? Yeah. You, are, you, are. you were with Yacker. No, you were with Yacker. Yacker was, yeah, Yacker, Yacker Yacker was, driving. was driving. Right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh 72. Okay. Uh and what's your what's your firearms? Uh, my firearms, oh, with is a 50 with uh with uh, those type of guns, with uh, rifles and shotguns, it's a 50. Okay. All right. So uh, you discharge the shotgun and um, it, it, the Winnie takes it right to the head and immediately kind of collapses. Um, but the, the pellets from it um, fly into the side of Nay and um start to panic the horse more and now the um uh, slowly albeit but um nay is now dragging winnie and the wagon uh erratically um in what's presumed to be a bear trap field okay so then an oak tree would have to step forward and if winnie isn't wounded too seriously that one once again would be a quick a quick reconnoiter of the situation would attempt to grab uh, what if there was a bridle on horses, but what they're harnessed into and try to do that. Um, okay. And do you have uh, animal skills or something of that nature? I think there's mm -hmm. animal handling. <laughs> there is animal handling. Yeah. I, hmm. I do have it. It's a terribly low number. We'll oh, I don't see animal handling. Where yeah, is it? Either? I don't either. Right under accounting. Wouldn't this be more like ride? I do have ride. Oh, yeah. We'll take ride. You got ride? Give me ride. I do. Oddly enough, I don't ride horses, but I do have ride, and it's actually not bad. Well, no. It's horrible, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wouldn't think of it so much as ride, though, <laughs> as your ability to calm things. And how about natural world? You got that? um yeah that's that's a little better that's a 10 okay uh, i only i'm trying to think the only thing i have yeah yeah i don't have a lot of i don't have a lot of high numbers all right well let's see how bad this one goes okay uh a 46 uh 64 okay and so you take a, a hoof right to the chest 
Um, and throws you back for uh, two points of damage. Okay. You didn't even <laughs> roll a 96. That doesn't... Right. I mean, you didn't get... No, failing doesn't mean you didn't take damage. Michael, why are you so mean? <laughs> why? It, it can. <laughs> it could have All been right. more damage. <laughs> 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 all right so you go sprawling backwards uh but uh, the attempt does kind of the wagon steam uh, uh bow you just feel like the, you're kind of in the back right getting jostled all around as the wagon uh throws you to and fro as this one horse drags you and another horse around and uh you're getting kind of just banged all over the place uh, there's not a cover on this wagon, right? It just has walls. Is this what I remember right? Oh, it's, uh, it's fully covered. It's boxed, yeah. It's a hearse okay. wagon, yeah. Okay, so so then so from from where you're sitting, then you've just heard all these like clangs and and all. Sounds like you're probably under attack. You don't know what's going on. Screams and a gunshot. Yeah, yeah well, horses just, screaming. I just think I'm hallucinating. Uh -huh. Uh, the, the fever's got me. Oh <laughs> Lord, take me quick! So, All right. Am I remembering the situation right that um that two of us made dexterity rolls so that we were off our horses but not in bear traps? Am I remembering that right? Because I, I that made is correct. a roll. You're, yeah, I yeah. feel like I yeah, made yeah. a roll too. I yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Your your horses all horses. went down. Y'all failed the first luck roll, and all your horses went down except for Oak Tree. Oak Tree made that luck roll, uh, and that's why he traversed through. All of your horses hit, and y'all, but y'all made your dex rolls or your luck rolls to like roll off the horses safely. But they were all caught in bear traps. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, then I, I, I'm gonna turn my horse off. If, okay. If she, was, <laughs> if she was caught in a bear trap, I, I gotta. Yeah. I gotta shut that shit down. H Harold's mechanical horse. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Uh, so since I find it, on my, there it is—the firearm uh, and rifle. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys, take my dice out here. Ninety-nine. No. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm shooting somebody else. Backing up. Um, that's a regular success. Okay. <laughs> and what was your horse's name? Um, well, let me think about that. Um, it's probably something about, um, you know, a a furry personnel carrier or so something like that. Uh, but let, let me think about it. I'll see if I can quote. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, well, we're, we're really on top of it tonight, aren't yeah. we? Fur, furry oh. personnel character. <laughs> No, it's, I mean, no, it's, it's a, um, it would be a Harold type name. Uh, yeah. that's, that's a description rather yeah, but than Harold's a name. practically, he'd call it FPC for short. Yeah. Yeah. Or fer Ferpsy. Come here, Ferpsy. Oh God. Oh, this is getting bad. Yeah. Okay. So right, as much on. as it kills me to say it, Florence is going to have to do the same thing. She can't let the animal go on in pain. Mm -hmm. okay. It's just not practical. Okay. She only has a little pistol. Oh, jeez. Oh. oh, the Derringer? Uh, oh, yeah. No, oh, no, please don't. <laughs> All right, let's see your firearm. Let's see your firearm roll, Florence. A hundred times. I know. <laughs> like, you can, have to... can I just like <laughs> stop and reload? And it's like clubbing it to death, but with like a teeny little ball peen hammer. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to. All right. I'll Come help on, out Florence. in a minute, but. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, if this Florence. goes wrong, someone else is going to notice. Mm -hmm. Can you get it right um, up to its eardrum? I can try to get as close as possible at my own detriment. I will try to get as close as possible to my flailing horse. Uh, okay. Give a dex roll. Sure. That's great. <laughs> uh, wait. Is matching succeeding or failing? That's succeeding. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. 
And then the firearms roll is firearms handgun, right? Yeah. Um, I missed by one. How about if I burn a luck? All right. And so uh, you you get up close enough, you manage to, and th there's a moment while your horse is freaking out. Uh, it sees you. It makes eye contact with you. No, it and doesn't. It's, yeah, it's, it's still <laughs> it, for a it, moment. It mouths the word, why? Why are you killing me with that pea shooter? It's Mr. Ed, no. and you can talk. <laughs> no, why, no, Wilbur? Why? No. And, oh. and you, can, you, I have, you, can I have one last scone, please? Oh, oh fuck. Scone, please. And you shoot, you shoot it right <laughs> through the eye. Uh, uh, you can make a luck roll, Florence, to see uh, how well your little pea shooter does. I can do that. Um... Uh, it was a success, regular success. All right, and uh, your your horse goes still, and uh, fortunes with you. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you need a sanity roll to go with that? I do. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, oh! By the way, I think this was Bo's horse. Oh, I don't Bozer's? have a horse. Oh, then Bo you're all right. It's just Bo's horse. Oh, oh. Man, no, but I, I mean, I still would. No, it's not your horse. That's okay. All right. What's the name of, what's the name of your horse, Bo? Tempest. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mean what was the name of your horse, Bo? Mm. Now, now it's hamburger. All I, all I see is darkness. Wait. Tempest is there. Tempest, what are you doing in the great beyond? Get now, get now. <laughs> well, how many horses are still screaming? Phil's horse. Phil's yeah. horse. The uh -oh. screaming of the horses. <laughs> he can shoot right. it. Can I was shoot. just about to say, silence of the ponies. All right, oh, so I've got... God. Shoot it in the back. I got my horse here, so I, uh, I'm going to first do just a quick little medicine check to see uh, is this thing salvageable in any way. I'm going to guess not. Like salvageable oh for a burger? What are you salvaging it <laughs> no, for? No, like, you know, I got my other horse who trained as whatever. This is like the rent a horse. So <laughs> I, <laughs> if you find I, out your horse is salvageable and we just shot all of our horses, <laughs> that's going to be real bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, so get, funny. I didn't get the extended coverage on this horse. I need to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we'll see. Uh, well, 66 uh, out of 70. So it's a regular success. Yeah, I, I think that medical check tells you that uh, th this horse ain't ever going to walk right again. All right. So I, uh, I raised my rifle. I, uh, and I take a shot looking for sort of the back of the neck. Of course, in the back quick, of the neck. Quick, uh, quick and painless. Uh, and I got a six. And I whisper, goodbye, Harry Trotter. You were a loyal steed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And uh, uh, the, the horse is wailing. Everybody else is kind of distraught, right? Florence is covered in a, some blood splatter and uh harold the same right just kind of standing there in dismay looking at his, his dead horse and uh philip you you put the last bullet in the horse and you're all just kind of bewildered right um oak tree your ass is kind of hurting and you're dusting yourself up as you get back up off the ground um and and this is probably about the time when you're able to all kind of turn and you're in this like scene of dead horses and uh, carnage, you look over and you see your good friend, Yocker, laying there on the ground, blood dribbling mm -hmm. out of his mouth and uh, caught in the jaws of a shark, so to speak. Same treatment. Oh my goodness. Got to turn no. him off. <laughs> you got to turn off Yocker. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not what we do to Yocker. <laughs> no, that's what a friend, good friend, would do. Yeah. Why did we do it to the horses? Same reason. Don't, don't, don't turn me off, please. 
<laughs> Wait, oh my God. Just All right. remind uh, me, where is the wagon? The the wagon, uh, the the horse is wide eyed and just kind of like you know slobber dangling off of it and yeah uh huffing through its bit and it just wandered a little bit away from uh from where oak trees on the ground because you know like there's the full weight of a dead horse that the other one's attached to so now it's kind of it's it's pulling okay. at it and it's leaning okay. but the other horse wants to be away from it and uh, Harold, did I understand you right? Are you pointing a gun at Yocker? Oh, I was kidding. Um, but I, I am thinking about it. Wow. Well, I mean, it, I don't want the dude to suffer. There's no way we're fixing that. We well, don't know until we, we examine know. him. Yeah, we got Philip. He could fix Remember, the he most was drinking that, thing. He was also what? drinking that special Lamava whiskey that his uh, uncle yeah. had. Well, that's true. I am remember more worried started, about. Remember, he had like a little finger growing. Yeah, out? yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah sure. Just... Philip can Philip can pull out a uh, a rib roast from him. Oh, although now that finger is crushed. <laughs> God damn it! He had a fresh little. Finger. No. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm Harold's looking at the uh, at the horse, the one horse we have left trying to uh, I think he's going to try and head over and try and calm it down, but not just wander over, um, find something that he can push in the dust in the sand in front of him. To... Would you want to yell that to the rest of us as a warning? <laughs> Move carefully. Watch where you stand. Oh, sure. I, I would assume that everyone I mean, would if figure you're that out. Yeah, it, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll holler. Otherwise, yeah. I will. Don't just wander around, folks. There's bear traps everywhere. You don't want to step on one like them horses did. Yeah, or or yeah, like Yacker yeah. did. You, no, you don't want to throw sure. yourself on them. Right, Yacker? I'm going to kill you. No, I think it's the other way around. I'll be there in a little bit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and make my way over to the, to the horse, try and calm down, because we only got one horse left. Okay, the one tied to the wagon. Yeah, I thought uh, uh, Phil said the rent a horse was still alive. Mm, or was that he the shot it? That you no, he, sh he shot it. No, no, no. Oh, wait, I there was, was one being it. pulled. There yeah, was one there on was... its own. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. How's that one doing, Keeper? Uh, I it, that one's all right. Okay, and mm. that one's tied to the back of the wagon. Is that am I remembering that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, all the more reason that... to stop the wagon. Is that my horse, Edgar Allan Pony, or is that <laughs> a different horse? Sure, that can be Edgar Allan Pony. Who let Rick look up horse names on the internet? <laughs> uh, so, do I see? <laughs> do I see? Uh, <laughs> uh, do I see Yocker in in extremis? Well, you, you were you were behind the wagon, right? I suppose I don't remember where we were, me and uh, Harold, in position to go. Yeah, I think you. Oh no, that's right. You were off the side. You were next to Harold. So yeah, Yocker's laying on the ground, uh, not far in front of you. Oh boy. Uh, hey Phil, I'll uh, I'll go grab this horse. Why don't you go grab Yocker? But watch your step on the way there. All right, uh, Harold. I have a quick question. Well, what's your question? Do you have a kazoo or some sort of small musical instrument or tubing? I, I, <laughs> I, I, I don't know why you're asking me that, um, and I don't think I want to know, um, but I, I don't know if I would have something. I might have some sort of a hole punch for um, working on leather straps that would um, carve a little hole for a buckle. I think yeah. that's a possibility. It'd be a small hole, right. though. Yeah, if you got that in like that or a harmonica or some sort of woodwind instrument, I mean, just really anything Solo. would be fantastic. I, I, and then I'll go over to. I think, I think Harold had mentioned he has a bassoon. Would, yeah, would that all of a sudden you hear from the wagon. It, <laughs> no, I think Yocker is about to get a musical tracheotomy. Mm -hmm. I think he's about to put a bassoon up my ass. So, <laughs> I'm, if it's I'm not comfortable with the Philip uh, Donner treatment. Harold might have uh, tubing or something. Yeah, yeah. I mean, or if all you need is a tube, could we take like an ink 
pen thing. What are those called? Where it's like uh, it's a big quill? pen? No, you not a pick. From... Oh, you they just came, dip the. They're not. The portal? <clears throat> they're not hollow because the, you just dip the end in it. Okay. You're talking about a fountain pen? No. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> I, really, I, I, any. I'm sorry. Do... I don't know. I prefer musical <laughs> instruments because they got sort of a one-way valve thing, and it sounds very amusing uh, on the back end. Mm -hmm. But we'll, we'll go forward with this, and uh, I'll take a look at Yacker's. Well, Yacker, uh, I think you might remember that Yacker plays the uh, harmonica. Oh joy! So I'll so, uh, go you know, over. Harmonicas are not cylindrical. Yeah. I'm yep. not sure if you're aware of that. I'm not saying right? it'll help. I'm just saying and, that there's. Hey, there that wasn't totally that stupid. Fountain pens were <laughs> developed in the middle of the 1800s. Sure. That wasn't like a totally ridiculous thing to say. There's oh. like a hollow pen like object that a person might carry. Yeah, and I think even feather it's quills. It's not made by Bic. Feather quills <laughs> have to have some sort of um, space there f to absorb the ink, right? Isn't that it? You know, it. Like very little. That's why they right. keep dipping bit. it and right. writing and dipping. Yeah, but it has writing. to have some sort of hollow thing there. So no, I don't think you're off off base. Okay, uh, so I'll go over to Yaka and ask. And this bear trap, I presume, is still on him. So I I, I call over to uh, to uh, Oak Tree and I say, Oh, Oak this tree. is gonna go well. Mm -hmm. Oak Tree, I, I I'm gonna need your hands here because we gotta open <clears throat> open up this friggin' bear trap that's on Yaka so I can see what's going on. I don't, I don't have a lot of hope, but uh, and in the process, I'm sort of digging in Yaka's pockets to try and find his uh, harmonica as I'm looking over. And overdose. Florence will also head that direction to try to help yep. in any way possible. Yeah. All right. And so y'all, y'all are, y'all are staring down at Yaka, who's, uh, I mean, this looks really nasty, right? I mean, this is yeah. um, as stout as Yaka was or is. Um, I mean, this is this is made to to crush through, and the human bones just aren't really made to withstand the force of one of these things. And and, and to uh, help Yaker out, uh, can I paint this picture? Yaker, oh, your mouth sure. is uh, opening and closing like a <laughs> uh, a fish that starved for oxygen, and you're blowing big like blood bubbles. Oh come on! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought Michael was the worst, but now you get the title. <laughs> Thank Phil, you for is that, the, Bo. Phil is the worst. You remember the description <laughs> of him? <laughs> I don't know. In your arm? arm? Oh, my God. Ugh. I, yeah, I mean, horrible. just hold your horses. So, oh. uh, oh, so <laughs> I think he meant horse. Yeah. So, so I'll, I'll, so can we can we uh, proceed with the unbearing of his uh, body? Do whatever the you unbearing. want. Unbearing. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, so, uh, so Oak Tree, are you on one side, I guess, and me on the other? Or we can try and open this thing up. What do you think? Or just get him out? I don't know. We need to get a, we need to get a good stout piece of wood uh, as we uh, open it up to jam it in there, so it don't come clamping down on our fingers and our hands. Okay. That makes sense. So that this is there. maybe a really silly question, but don't these things have a release? Or is the way you open them actually to just pry them apart? There there was nodding. There was silent nodding in yeah, response no, to my question. It, by <laughs> my understanding, you have to, Leonardo? it's tension, yeah. tension, tension, and then there's a lock mechanism. Oh, when they're open. wow. It's a giant, okay. giant spring. Florence doesn't know these things. <laughs> So I say we, we work we work it on open there, uh, Mr. Phil Philip, and uh, see what we can do get him out of this a little bit. But I think he's going to have a lot of blood start shooting out of him real fast. Yeah, I think so too. So uh, if we want to get some buckets, you know, we, uh, if we don't want to uh, waste it or put it back into him or, or keep it for later, I mean, I don't know. I'm just brainstorming here. I'm just spitballing. Have some have some heart attack here, Phil. Walking, <laughs> you're walking a, a very very dangerous line. Philip takes out a shot glass. <laughs> All right. So uh, the 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 difficult part about the way this bear trap is on Yocker is that um, since it closed around his torso, there's there's like meat up to the teeth, except like at the kind of base edges. So normally you'd get like leverage somewhere around the top of it, 
right? There'd be a gap and, and you'd use that to pry it open. So you're going to have to pry from kind of the sides, which isn't the best kind of angle to, uh, to take on it to get it open. Huh. We can put an extra person on each side yeah. just for strength. Yeah, we need to. We need to get a piece of, you know, piece of something in between Mr. Yonker's body and the teeth of the bear trap and wedge it on in there. Maybe we could uh, prop it open then, sort of like you prop open an alligator's jaws to put in a stick in there. We can do that with the bear trap at a certain point. We can stick something real stout to keep it open and slide it off of. But we could we take a piece of siding from the wagon? Uh, sure. Oh, I would even say the femur from one of the horse. Nope, nope, that's a bad idea because that just snapped. So never mind. Never mind. It's a so bad idea. something not a wooden from the wagon. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great, Florence. Oh, Let's do great. that. Oh, yeah. boy. Okay. Yeah, those, those hollow horse leg bones aren't going to work so well. <laughs> I need to have an owl. I just need uh, a very. <laughs> I'm pretty cool. sure if we wedge a stick of dynamite in there, that'll hold it. There you go. <laughs> Let me, so let me I, light this candle so I can see it. Yes, I guess we can try doing this, Keeper. And uh, what what roles are we going to need to? Uh, I mean, I, we only need a little gap. And then Florence, if you could try and pull Yaka out, you know, while me and Oak Tree are doing this, I, I, I really don't know the best approach to this. I'll try to pull. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't need anything to get the siding off the wagon. I think it's more just to figure out if this i mean it'd be a terrible shame if the bear trap snapped again on yocker uh, do i <laughs> <laughs> with, oh, with, an, with anybody's hand in it i mean that would be like really bad right remember before we left uh i reminded yocker to bring a spare wheel yes you did one of the yes. wheels broke so there's yeah. spokes sure in that wheel yeah those would be big sturdy sure, good uh, for prying yeah. keeper am i done with the horse at this point I I mean I don't know. Are you done with the horse? Well, is is the horse calm enough that I can leave and come over and and oh, try and help horse. with the yocker situation? Yeah, yeah. I mean that that horse can't really go anywhere at this okay. point because the other one's weighing weighing it down. Uh, did you just leave him like strapped to the dead horse? Um, yeah, well, I mean, I I probably try and move him a little bit, but I don't want to move him too much because I'm worried about all the other bear traps. So I just want to calm him down. Okay. Um, uh, and you know maybe hobble him. Uh, you know, get them somewhere, some, somehow secured. Um, but my question is, if I could do that, if if there is, t if I've reached the time point now where I can get away and come over to help Yocker, or if I still need to be working on the horse. Um, uh, make a. What did you use to soothe the horse? I don't know. I got nothing. I was looking when uh, when you guys were looking for oak trees. I got nothing. All right. Do well. Take some luck at this point. Let's see how well you soothe it. 75. All right. Then I guess you're still stroking the horse. Okay. <laughs> uh, then I'm just going uh, to sort of yell over. To see it. Try to take the trap apart, guys. Okay. What um, a good idea. I said, let, let's get our. I was going to say, at this point, if he's on, uh, <laughs> Oak, Tree, Oak Tree's just going to do it. He's going to just use his strength and try and pull it open here at this point. Oh. It just gotta happen. Mr. Yawker's suffering and he's hey, dying. Hey, Oak Tree, why don't you come take care of this horse and, and switch with me? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I, uh, Oak Tree, were you going in? All right, whatever. <laughs> I say we do it, Oak Tree. Let's yeah. well, Oak I'm Tree also. Oh, oh, Oak Tree really was closing. saying that you needed something to jam in there. Yeah. yeah. Oak Tree was saying that. He wouldn't yeah. lose his mind and just. Yeah, that's what I was saying. As long as you got something in the jam in there, you know, Philip, and should, I don't think there'd be something right around here easy to grab. I was going to say even Anya, big stick, oak tree carry, carries a big giant stick, but I don't want to get that broken. Um, <laughs> up in the uh, up in the wagon, there should be something in the back with all them barrels and junk lying around. And yep. Jam it in there. Wagon wheel. We have, a, we have a spare and, wagon wheel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bo, Bo identified the wagon wheel. You just got to take it apart or, you know, okay. break we it or something. A, I was going to say give it a good smash and get out a spindle, you know, that, uh, okay. it, and we'll have right. that. Okay, yeah. that sounds good. Oh. And then and then I'll ask, can, can we have a, anybody can start a small fire in case they need to cauterize anything? 
Oh, God, here we go again. And it goes right back to our original discussion. (laughs) (laughs) No? I mean, at this point, it's Yocker's life. Maybe we should just make the fire. Silence. Yeah, let's just go for it. (laughs) I was going to say that. Oak Tree just wants to get this thing off of him. That's the first thing. Not thinking... Yeah, I, don't we're doing it. I don't think you'd be planning all that stuff out there, Phil. Fair point. Fair point. Phil, it's just, right. let's just, yeah. Oak, Tree, Oak Tree's going to give a shot to pull it open and I guess use a strength roll. He's pretty good at that. Is that what we should do there, Keeper? Yep, yep. All right. He's going to give a roll on his strength and wedge something in there to make it a little bit easier. I don't know if that helps with his roll or something like that. And he rolled a 79. He made it by one. <laughs> all right and so uh oak tree you're in there and you've uh i'm trying to figure out how this would work that it wouldn't like turn with the body but um that maybe you're you've got uh you wedge it you put you pry it open slowly and um phil's able to slide oh, the wood okay. in there yeah so that we, you, got, you, we got four hands yeah you wedge a bit of a gap and um and then you're able to kind of from there pry it a little bit and uh somebody roll in yocker out of there i was pulling mm-hmm. yeah so so as you pull I, it's nasty right like as they as they start to pry it open uh those metal teeth come <laughs> out and you see those like oh. dense pressure marks and then um you think you might even see bone or something but it immediately like fills with blood and the blood starts pouring out of those point marks. And uh, you hear Yocker moaning. Um, but um, Philip, you do notice with your kind of objective curiosity uh, that you would expect Yocker to be bleeding more from this wound than he is. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, fascinating there. Yeah uh okay okay so uh so so we've got him freed from this at this point or we can roll him out or yeah yeah yep, yeah yep. Yeah, so, yeah so we'll do that and then i want to prop him on the non-injured side to try and okay. keep the wound uh up to try and okay. help for, you know use gravity here to I don't know, do something i got nothing and then uh i'll keep, take a keep look it out of the dirt this. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. And 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 uh, <laughs> sure, sure, sure. So uh, we'll do that. You you want to keep it clean, right? In case you don't want a dirty food. Anyway, so you want to you want to t- help him over to the side, and uh, we'll do that. And now take a look at the wound and see just how mangled and bad this is. Like, is this survivable by any stretch? I guess is my you know assessment. Make a medical roll. <laughs> I got a, I got, a, uh, I got a ninety six. <laughs> this diagnosis. This diagnosis. Can we can we just agree that the dice weren't Doctor Dead? <laughs> All right, so oh. um, uh, give me a sanity roll, Phil. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, I got a three. Okay. Uh, so you don't lose any sanity, but y'all are all watching uh, Phil examine Yocker. Oh, and no. um, instead <laughs> of, like, going oh, through no. this kind of usual, like, palpation and stuff, um he pulls out his knife and he start. he's like fascinated by the wounds and he starts um, prying at the wounds with his knife and trying to like, and um, let's see who has, who has medical training. Oh, uh, uh, I got, I got first aid, pretty good first aid. So I'll know. Yeah. So Oak tree, you're watching Phil do this. And like what he's doing just doesn't make any, it's like almost like he's um, evaluating a corpse instead of trying to do anything to help Yocker. And like, as he does this, Yocker's moaning 
And um, he's obviously causing a tremendous amount of the pain to the unconscious Yocker. And, and and he keeps uh, at it. That's kind important. Of okay. Okay. That's easy then. So the second that happens, he sees that what he's doing is not right to Mr. Yocker. And, uh, and, and he actually pulls out his harmonica and he starts to go ahead. No, and tell I, me what. Yeah. So I take this harmonica out that I've got in my hand from Yocker and I go, I, I know, I know what to do. And I take it and I plunge it straight into his lung site like vertically, if that makes sense, you know, and I'm using the knife to cut down and I'm pushing it in. And so there's like half a harmonica sticking out. And a harmonica? Always, well, it's the only musical instrument you guys got. And then, uh, <laughs> but it's not even round. All right, Oak Tree, you're watching this and how do you react? So, so, so what he's doing does, I was going to say the harmonica thing, he, you know, Oak Tree can kind of guess what he's going to try to do, you know, keep him breathing. But, does he sense that it was it's really bizarrely wrong, like the place he put it, like it's like and that's really hurting him and could kill him? Like his Yeah, it doesn't yeah, it doesn't make any sense yeah. to you. Where he's putting it. All right, that's yeah, easy. It's, it's the same as jam, jamming a rock in. A harmonica yeah, right. Do like exact it, same. it wouldn't <laughs> Yeah. So, so Oak Tree looks at him in the eye and, and just says, Mr. Phil, you need to stop right now and grabs his arm. And that has the harmonica and yank, and yank yanks it away from Yocker's body, and okay. says you're doing and just says you're doing Mr. Yocker awful awful lot of bad, and I think something's gone wrong with you a bit because uh, Oak Tree did see that whole incident where they had to tie up Phil, but that was that was uh -huh. his first introduction to Philip Donner, so he knows uh -huh. there's something not right with him, and Miss Florence is ill at ease with him, so he grabs his arm, pulls it away. And says, and says to Mr. Phil, Mr. Phil, you need to step away from, step away from Mr. Yaka right now, so you don't get hurt. And Philip's just kind of crazily insistent that this is going to save Yaka's life, right? He's uh, so, uh, but I'll let y'all play this out. Who, so we'll consider y'all kind of uh, not uh, y'all are engaged at the moment, so we'll go, you know, turn for turn. So how do you respond, Phil? Yeah, I want to. Okay. And, and so I, I look up at you and I got my hand on the harmonica mm -hmm. and, and I'm just like, he's making it. He's got to make it. He, I, I'm telling you, look, you can hear it. You can hear him. And <laughs> so, that's something that only Phil can hear, right? Right, right. I think, I think that would be the thing is I hear that and say, you hear he's breathing. What? Saving Was that Yezu Joy? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's actually Yocker's Joy. But yeah. <laughs> Um, so okay. Ball. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Oak Tree, how do you respond? I said, I said, Mr. Phil, I'll give you give you the count of three to step away from uh, Mr. Yonker's body, and uh, you better do it. And uh, he, st I start uh, getting on, I you know, kneeling in front of uh, Mr. Yonker to protect his body. I got a hand over Mr. Yonker's uh, chest, so <laughs> Mr. Phil can't get the harmonica back where it was and my other hand i you know i just i just have ready to push mr phil away or whatever needs to be done okay i, I know push. they're in the middle of some combat but can i also step in between because i was right by the body and i yeah, saw all of this happen yeah, yeah of okay. course of more course. of a discussion okay. at this point i think okay yeah. so you're gonna kill this man you're gonna kill him i swear you gotta let him go he's breathing he's breathing all right, he's gotta go. Is Harold done yet? <laughs> sure, Harold. Does the harmonica can, do Harold any more damage? He's a pipe organ. Um, can you hear the music? He's making beautiful music. Oh shit! He's making beautiful. Music. <laughs> what? what the hell is that screaming? <laughs> That's oh, that's God. the recording from his basement. Oh, oh my God! And so Miss Florence, you need to you need to help your Mister Phil so he don't get hurt. So he pushes away from Mister Yocker, and uh, I'll I'll hand it over to you for a second, Miss Florence. <clears throat> what did you hand to me? I'm just saying I'm handing it over to you to. So I just said you, you if you can try. Oh, the, get... the dialogue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Phil, what were you doing with that knife? 
I, I was doing some uh, uh, blunt dissection down to get down into his, uh, his, his windy humors that needed to be released and played out for everyone to hear. Don't you hear? You got to get those demons out. And, and they just sing like angels when you do. You hear singing? <laughs> no, I hear, I hear the harmonica play. It's Yaka. It's, it's, his, it's his musical soul. He wants to be saved. All right, as um, we we may have to tie you again, Philip. If you don't <laughs> calm down, there are no, there's no music. There's, there's no. Well, there's one harmonica, but no one is playing it. I just All realized right. I made that sanity roll, right? Um, so <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was the ninety six then? Oh, that was the medical. Medical. <clears throat> that's fine. It, we're good. We're good. <laughs> Uh, it just means you don't lose any more in the process. It doesn't mean you don't go. So, Mr. Mr. Phil, are you going to not not touch his body? Because I need to do something to help Mr. Yonker. All right, Florence, uh, make a spot hidden. Oh, that's a good one. Um, that is a middle success. Hard success. Uh -oh. Okay. And you see Harold walking towards you, um, and he's he's walking towards Yocker. Um, it, it was what kind of success? Hard. Okay. Uh, with the hand on the butt of his pistol. Oh, boy. Um, Harold is walking towards us with the hand on the butt of his pistol? Towards Yocker. Towards Yocker. Right. Oh. And, uh, oh, go ahead. Um, I will just um, shift from staying between Philip and Yocker to between Harold and Yocker and say, Harold, why are you touching your gun? Well, he, he, this this is horrible to poor Yocker. He's not going to survive this. He's mm. just going to suffer. We, we can't let my friend suffer like that. If it, so, if, if it were me in Yocker's position, I would want you to switch me off. I, right. I, I can't let my friend suffer like that. So Oak Tree at this, um, Oak Tree being a, a, a creature of action and sees the situation deteriorating to something where Mr. Yawker is bleeding and people are talking and, and now Harold's coming over with a gun. Um, he, he reaches out and pushes Mr., Mr. Phil away. Just, you need to get away from this body right now. And he... See, even Oak um, Tree's calling clear, him a body. Does he piss <laughs> does Oak Tree oh push my him God. into a field of bear traps? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, I'm, oh, he's not thinking that. Um, but I, that's, I, I'm, I'm just wondering. No, 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 this all. I'm, I'm envisioning this all taking place within the range of the <laughs> wagon. It's it's well trotted area, and we haven't even spent time about y'all kind of looking around to examine the ground. Yeah. But, yeah. So now I'm going to explain this by like, um, you know, uh, Oak Tree. He's not he's not a doctor or a genius, but he's 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 super very observant and and uh, he's a survivor. And he noticed that Mr. Yocker's wound unnaturally healed, and he put two and two together that somehow them pills from that really good doctor had done it. And at this point, he sees Mr. Yocker's done for, and Mr. Harold, his friend's coming over with a gun. Wait, 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 Oak Tree, I got I to gotta call for something. That's, uh, if you're putting all that together, I need an intelligence roll. Okay. You can make the observation that he, he's, you know, not, that he's, uh, your medical role would tell you that, you know, he's not, his body's responding differently than you would expect it to. Um, but to put it together with the pills, I need a little bit of a role for that. Okay, he didn't get it because the idea was he wanted he was going to take the pills for, um, as one, a last ditch effort and just go and there's only one thing that can save him. He needs to have his pills and give him a give him the rest of his pills. Oh, okay. And that was it. He doesn't know if it was going to work or not. That's why I'm arguing. It's not really intelligence. It's just uh, I would say. Oh, okay. If, oh, if you're yeah. just talking about feeding him his pills, that's yeah. fine. That, yeah. That's it's fine. a it's a first aid shot in the dark. That okay, okay. Well, yeah, one, that's one. If one feels good, then a dozen. Well, be... that's the thing in the situation he's in, oak trees. That's what I'm just saying. He's making the calculated decision that he's going to die anyway. So if he gets a bunch of those pills, they may save him because he okay. saw because he saw what they did. They were helping. And him then out you people. hear this do, thin, do you, reedy yeah. voice. What about me? Do, do you, you do you can? Fucking 
bastards. Do you convey that to the rest of the group? <laughs> oh, that I'm going to give him his pills? That you have this hypothesis. Yeah, and then, well, I, as I'm doing it, because I was going to say, this is, it's like a first aid situation, I'd have yeah. to say. So he, he reaches into where Mr. Yawker had just pulled him out of his, hey, of his jacket. Hey, oh, hey Oak Tree? If that's yeah. the case, uh, uh, Bo back there has a much better chance of surviving than Yocker does. Oh, and then I'm like, you got a good point there. We'll save a couple from him, but Mr. Yocker is way worse. So I'll give uh, I'll give some to Mr. Yocker, and I'll save a few for Mr. Bo. That's a real good idea, Mr. Harold. And uh, so I take a hand, whatever you know. Well, I don't know how many you had left. Let's okay. see. You uh, you had two a day for how many days? Ten days. You had a 10 day supply? Yeah. And okay, this was so, like my third day? No, yeah, he, so, was, he took two in the morning and two in the afternoon. So you actually had four a day. He was specific about that. You oh, oh, yeah. It's not one two of at two. a time. Yep. So, uh, Oak Tree, uh, how I'm long are we going to wait to see if this, uh, if this does something? Because uh, I'm just not willing to watch my friend suffer like that. Well, that's the thing. I said, uh, maybe these pills are, you know, Kind of curious, Phil seemed to be working real fast. And so we just, I said, we just try it on him and we give him a little bit of that uh, drink stuff that Mr. Uh, Phil has, and that'll help him soothe him down and keep him out so he doesn't hurt too much. And uh, so he healed whatever. a lot the first night after his surgery. Would you be willing to give him a night? If it doesn't look like he's suffering, yes. Yeah. Well, Oak Tree's going to do it. I was going to say in a first aid situation, he's just going to take a handful of whatever you did have left. I knew there was a bunch of them. And then, you know, more than two, you know, whatever, whatever he grabs. And he saves the rest of them for Mr. Bo. Puts them in your mouth, puts his hand over Mr. Mr. Yonker's mouth, who's moaning, and makes sure he swallows them um, down like you do a dog. And he gets them pills down his throat. Just to, do you rub my throat? Like you have to do, I'll give you a yeah. treat, a dog treat. Uh, what are we going to do with that, uh, that musical instrument there? <laughs> okay. And is it still uh, sticking it could, out of my it chest? Could, could mm -hmm. be stopping the bleeding. Yeah, that's the worry. We don't want to leave it there because that seems like a, a, a terrible idea no. if something actually oh, does heal quickly. Oh, that was still in there. Yeah, we were on, I, <laughs> uh, I, I thought it came out when, uh, when we, I pushed it. In there. I didn't realize it was also it. seems like a worry to just yank it out. Well, we'll work on that next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, one horrible thing at a time. I think the keeper has something to say here. <laughs> okay, yeah, as y'all are, are kind of debating all of this, um, from the distance off to where, uh, mm. let's see, who was alone on that side? Florence, you were alone on the other side of the wagon, right? I was, right? yeah. Yeah, from that side, off in the distance, you hear, uh, <clears throat> hey there, strangers, y'all all right? And with that, we'll go to a break. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. All right. Well done, Keeper. All right, everybody take a few minutes, and we will be back on the other side of the break. And we're back from break, Michael. You can do whatever you were just doing if you want to continue that. No, don't ever, ever do that again. <laughs> ever. All right. So we established during the break that there were 13 pills left uh, in, in Yocker's bottle. And uh, before we get to the stranger who's calling out to you, um, Oak tree, how many of those pills did you shove down Yocker's throat? Seven. Okay. All right. So this means uh, seven have gone in the Yocker. And that leaves six pills. Okay. And uh, and, and, and they had, like, there's a lot of blood and um, you kind of push his jaw up and massage his throat. And most of them get down the old gullet like they're supposed to. Um, but the thing of notice right now, as y'all are kind of crowding around, deciding whether to put old Yeller out of his misery, uh, is the <laughs> voice in the distance calling. And Bo, give me a, um, let's see, wh what do we think of here as you're laying there in the back of the wagon? Um, is that you, Jack Crab? <laughs> Well, actually, before, before you jump to those conclusions, <laughs> um, what, do, what do you got left there in you? How's your constitution? Uh, my constitution is uh, pretty good. It's hey, 80. Why don't, yeah, 80. Roll, roll on your constitution. 
96. Oh, perfect. Oh, my God. <laughs> what is happening? Obviously, Yacker and I are meant to die. We are wow. meant to go. Mm -mm. I'll tell you about my new character. Maybe we can have uh, characters that work together somehow. The dice giveth and the dice taketh away. All the, right. The dice are pretty um, much just taken away tonight. Mostly taken. <laughs> yeah, my, yeah, mine was uh, last time I rolled was 100. This is the very next time. Oh, wow. 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 Okay. So I'm, I, you know what? Um, I, I don't like actually know how to make the situation worse. So we're just going to go with that. Um, you scream out. <laughs> You scream out uh, through the wagon walls, uh, Jack Crab, is that you? And, uh, it, you know, it, it thunders across. Y'all all turn to look at this guy who's riding up, who called out. And um, uh, the the figure, who, who'd be in the best position? We'll give you Harold, maybe, because... Y'all are kind of on the other side of the wagon. Harold, give me a spot hidden. Oh, yeah. How could this possibly get worse? Have Harold roll a spot hidden. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good call there, Keeper. I'm just going to have to cause an avalanche off the side of the mountain and just put you all out of Jesus your misery. Christ. Um, oh, hey, I actually, it's actually a success. It had to happen sometime. All right, good. As, uh, as Bo screams this, you see the figure um, kind of instinctively put a hand on his pistol, like real quick, and then slide it back down his thigh. And he said, he shouts back, he goes, uh, not sure who you're calling for. I, I just saw looks like you might need some help. Um, Bo, you know the voice. You are yeah. just absolutely, you know exactly who it is. Okay, then I, I am just forcing, through sheer force of will, I'm making my feverish body climb out of that there wagon. And I'll, like a zombie, I'll start walking towards him. He has no idea who, who I am in, the, in this state. I'm just... How far away is this guy? Well, I recognize that smell anywhere. Like you've gone out of the wagon? <laughs> yeah. So I, I'm just going to say to the group as quietly as I can so that this dude can't hear. Yeah. He, he just... He's still, I mean, he's a ways off. He had to shout at you, and they're all behind okay. the wagon. So. Okay. That guy just uh, sort of reached for his gun there for a second. I, I think he might be kind of dodgy, this one. Uh, Bo, do you have? I, Bo, I just want to clarify as you get out of the weapon because I'm pretty sure they took your gun at one oh, point. Oh yeah, I have no, I have no weapon. Okay. I just, I in my fever state, I intend to claw him apart with my bare hands. That's okay. I think it's bare hand. I got. That's bare hand. Oh, bare hand. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yes. And no, I've got my hand and a bare hand <laughs> out of a trap. There was a bear oh. paw there. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it, it, pl it played better in rehearsal. <laughs> uh, my friends around me, and I said, "Miss, Miss Florence, Mr. Harold, who's this Jack Crab?" And, uh, uh, we've heard him talk about him before, oh, right? Yeah, like yeah, we would know I, his nemesis. Yeah, I killed. Yeah, remember I killed that right, poor guy. Right. I mean, I was wasn't with you then. I'm just trying to remember. I think you probably also told us. Well, later. We, we told you so, about it. So okay. y'all hear this Jack Crab oh. screaming. And um, and you're shambling out at him, screaming, Bo, and, uh, uh, you know, he, he reasonably, as you start to come out, puts his hand back on his pistol and he says, stranger, I don't know who you are, but I wouldn't be coming no closer to me. The mm. closer I get to you, the closer you get to hell, my friend. Don't know why I'm talking oh. like him. That ain't my point. <laughs> <laughs> talking to Jack Crab voice. What the right. hell uh, problem is? Yeah, there's there's me. Closer you get to hell, my friend. Uh, so he clears leather and he's he's pointing at you, and he says, I "Don't believe I know you, stranger. Who the hell you think you are, bringing hell after me? Well, that gun ain't gonna do you no good." 
I'm already dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Nice. <laughs> Harold's pointing a rifle at this guy, just for the record. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and Oak so, stands up, too. And, and, uh, so you got to you gotta tell me your positioning, because uh, from, from where you were, Harold, I, I don't know that you... Uh, where are you aiming a rifle from? Uh, well, I, I don't really know what, like what the lay of the land is, but you had said that okay. I was the most, so, so think like of I it. was the closest so, to him. So Emily, where Emily shot her horse. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so Bo is walking out like kind of across the corpse of Emily or sorry, Florence's horse. And the guy is coming from beyond that direction. Like he came down out of the out of the hills out of the plateau there, um, and he's he's coming down on horseback um, towards the wagon. Y'all were treating Yocker, I guess you can call it that. Y'all were treating <laughs> Yocker on the other side of the wagon, um, but where you had stopped from from soothing the horse, uh, you kind of had a, a line of sight of this guy over the horse. Everybody else is behind the wagon. They were working with Yocker. So um, Oak Tree, totally fine. You have time and everything. But mm-hmm. I just, as this kind of unfolds, I want to know where you're taking your places. Okay, so I, I had headed back toward them to go to try and switch off Yocker. Um, but, uh, you know, wherever I am, I'm going to try and get prone and prop my rifle on something. And also get okay. some cover. Uh, so even if I got to like lay okay. behind a horse, um, it, you know, wherever I can find a spot that I can, you know, prop the rifle up and. Uh, yeah. So you could be on the ground uh, near the near the horse that that's dead on the wagon, if you want to be. I mean, that would be probably sure. the most direct form of cover. Sure. Um, okay. How far away from me is he? So at this point, uh, probably another 50 feet out. Not too far, right? Okay. Yeah. I say, uh, in, my, in my deadly state, I ain't, um, this ain't working out for me. Why don't you come on down close to me? Then you'll see who I am. And, I ain't uh, got no weapons, just how you like don't need them you'll see (laughs) and and he sees you uh he sees you lay down and uh take take cover harold he sees you pointing a rifle at him and he holds his pistol up and and he puts it back in his leather and he says i i mean you no harm i just i saw your party might be in trouble and you might have we got these traps out here to keep the dang bears away. And uh, I don't want to cause your party no trouble. I just thought maybe that uh, uh, y'all got into them. And I just came down to offer some assistance. And then uh, I guess I'll yell on over. I said, well, we do appreciate this. Doesn't, hang on, Oak Tree. I just want to explain, Bo, this does not change your perception of the situation at all. You, This is jack crap. Okay? Right. Go ahead, Oak Tree. I wanted to just yell on over because this whole Jack Crab thing, you know, he reacted that it wasn't his name. And I yell on over. I said, I said, hey, mister, you're coming on over to help us. And our friend said your name, but that doesn't seem to be your name. What is it? Oh, my name is Bill Thornson. And what is Bo here? <laughs> Bo here is bullshit. <laughs> okay. Huh. All right. So to the rest of us, he's non-threatening, but to Bo, he's something different going on. And I guess you guys would know that that happened before. I killed a guy. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, mean, cr- I don't. Crazy. Oh, you don't. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, we would though. We probably would have only had enough time to whisper to you like it's his nemesis or something, you know. But I did see him react, sort yeah. of instinctually yes. when he heard that yes. name. Yeah. yeah. Wait, the guy in the horse did? Yeah, as, as soon as he heard the name Jack Crab, he immediately um, reached for his gun. 
Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna I have to step around the I'll step around the wagon to assist my my friend Bo, who seems to be in distress because he's real hurt bad. And I have to make sure Mr. Bo doesn't hurt himself worse. And I just want to get over on that side of the wag and being real careful. Okay. And just saying, Mr. Bo, uh, and I'll just, I'll call him Mr. Bo and hopefully he turns around, but maybe he won't. And just, Mr. Bo, you need to, you need to set yourself down and rest. You are not in a good state. And uh, maybe, give me a spot, give me a spot hidden, Harold. <clears throat> Bo, maybe you need to take your pills. Wait, wait give yeah, me a spot I'm hidden. I'm doing it. <laughs> okay um go figure i missed you, a spot hidden roll yeah uh, uh oak tree you give me a spot hidden mm. i don't think it's that bad let's see do, 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 do. i'll just mention that florence is staying with yocker and also keeping an eye Ooh. on philip i got it okay so uh your your instinct oak tree is you're trying to suss out who this guy is mm -hmm. uh you call out Bo's name on purpose, right? They mm -hmm. kind of gave you the skivvy on, on who this might be. Mm -hmm. And as you call out Bo's name, uh, you see you see something. It's a distance now, but you see him peek up his interest all of a sudden and raise his eyes. Okay. And uh, and I say, and I say, and I say, friend, I see you do mean us uh, no harm at that. And I said, why don't you come down here and uh, and come on over? We got some uh, hurt folk over here. You got any th any uh, any knowledge in mending folk? Oh, I got a bit. You know, living up in these hills, dude. Got to got to know how to take care of somebody. Let me see what what you got. Okay, and then uh, Mr. Bow, I I go over towards Mr. Bow to be closer to him and whatever his reaction might be to the situation of this fellow come on over. Yeah, and, Bo, your 96 doesn't let you hold back, man. Okay, that's oh. it. Yeah. Well, that's right. right. Yep. Oh, there's, a, there's angels tugging at me. They're trying to get me through the gates, but I got business with you. I ain't ready to go yet. Uh, and, and from the horse, he looks at you, Oak Tree, and he says, Friend, I, I I ain't sure about your your friend right there, but uh, I ain't getting no closer and uh, putting myself gonna. He seems out of it. Oh, don't you fear none? You why why you got be afraid of a one arm man? Look, just one little arm. Now you come over here and let me get a good look at you. And then I, I say, do you know this, Mr. Bo? He seems to know you real good. And, uh, but I think there might be some confusion, but I noticed his, the way his face moved before. And so throwing a bluff at him, I guess. And uh, this is, uh, if you're willing to come on down, he's unarmed and I don't think he could do you much harm in the state he's in. He says, I'll, I'll come down and help you stranger, but uh, you gotta give me your word. You keep your friend there. Uh away from me i'll give you my word i i'll try to keep i will try to keep him away from you absolutely and so he uh he he uh slides down off his horse and uh holds the horse by the by the lead and walks him through and he's coming over and he says y'all must have y'all must have gotten in here bad uh looking around i mean y'all got it off the trail trails that away we uh we don't make uh we don't make a big mistake getting into here without being uh careful enough and these bear traps setting this uh long trail that wasn't that wasn't expected by us here and well most of our horses are down dead and and one of our friends, he's on. He may be on his way out. So yeah, we're in we're in a bad we're in a bad pickle here, and we appreciate uh, if you have some sort of uh, home nearby with anything in it, we uh, we could we could maybe use. That would be wonderful. What 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 in tarnation brought you out this way? Well, we ended up over uh, by the train and uh, down going down the trail, and we just uh, going down the trail that. 
got us a bit lost up in these hills. We were going the wrong way coming out of uh, one of those there towns that's been having troubles and getting away from things. Well, this is an awful strange way to go. I mean, you got Bloodstone that away and Deadwood that away. Well, it seems sometimes you want to stay away from towns. Things are going, things are going not so good in them. Mm. Running thinking, from the, running from the law, huh? You know, I give him a little wink. Okay. And uh, Matt, well, uh, let me uh, let me see what you got here and what I got to offer. No, because well, I appreciate that you come on over, but Mister Bo here, uh. He's all worked up, and I'm not sure in his state if he's got some sort of fever thinking you're someone else. Yeah, Bo, you're welcome to – I mean, you're like – your feet now from from Jack Crab. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you now. I got you now. You ever wonder – you ever wonder what happened to your buddy Asa Watts? I killed him myself. Ooh, what's his reaction at that? Yeah, uh, Oak Tree. Uh, so, all right, what do you, what do you got, uh, Bo? You got, you got psychology or persuade? Oh, let me see. In, in this state, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what I, uh, can, can I can I charm him in this state? Uh, no, I have persuade. Yeah, go for persuade, and I'll give it. I'll give it to you. With, I got uh, it. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. Tw Twenty-seven out of forty. Oh, nice. All right. Um, Oak tree. You see him. You see him seize up and grab the butt of his pistol, and uh, and then he tries to he tries to pass it off, and and there's this awkward moment where he's staring at Bo, and he says. Uh, stranger, I don't know who you're talking about. So how I, I saw you go for your gun there, but you can't kill me again because you already killed me once. So I just want uh, so Mr. Bo is within arm length of uh, this fellow. Uh, we'll call it eight feet, eight, eight to feet. ten feet. Yeah, and that and I mean, then... he's he's probably not gonna get you know he's he's. he's Bo's looking pretty freaky. I don't think he's going to walk right up and get in hugging distance. Okay. And then uh, I was going to say Oak Tree is next to Mr. Bo, so he'd probably be in that same range too. Sure. All right. Well, and then I said, uh, I said, no. Uh, to him, I said, I said, I said, Mr. I said, my friend here uh, seems, seems to be awful agitated at, at who he thinks you are. And I kind of wink at him again, but he has. He's got a bit of a fever going on, and I slowly walk towards the the fellow, the okay. jack the jack crab guy, and uh, and I just I kind of lean over to him like uh, to get a little bit closer to whisper to him, you know, like and to say my my friend my friend Mr. Bo isn't quite right in the head, and I start whispering so he has, hopefully he you know he comes a little bit closer to me. I just want to try to tell him something. Make a make a persuade roll. I do more of him. I'm more of an intimidate guy. Okay. Yeah, that works. Intimidate. I mean, yeah, some sort of form of. Yeah, that's my persuasion. It's intimidating with my big ugliness and all that stuff. Oh, got it by one. All right. And uh, he, he kind of does that thing where he like, he doesn't want to lean in, but he, he's kind of looking at you in your mauled face and he doesn't want to not do what you want him to do. So, so he, he leans in a little bit to hear what you have to say. And I feel I'll slug him in the face, hard as I can. <laughs> Oak tree, that's what I'm built for. He brawls. <laughs> and I'm going to deliver him to Mr. Bo. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, all right, roll for fighting. Oh, I got um, That's my thing. Uh, he's built for it. So I want to just say I was leaning in and goading him in for that in case there's any sort of, uh, oh, I don't know, advantage in doing that. Um, I got it easily. I got a okay. seven. I got a seventy-five in fighting. So. Okay, so he 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 didn't. He missed his dodge. He uh he you you fooled him and got him off balance. 
And man, you cold clock him. So and, uh, and I do some. I, uh, my guy does some pretty good damage. It's a die three plus his size damage bonus, was which is a die six. Oh shit! So um, I'm not gonna hold back. Okay. So I'll do the die three, which is one, and then so a three points. Okay. So uh, you catch him right off guard and. Uh, catch him under the jaw and he goes sprawling back right on his ass. Uh, he's not unconscious, but he's mm -hmm. on his ass. And, um, and, and, uh, and my big hulkiness, the way he, I fight, I, okay. I, it's like tackling a quarterback. I jump on top of him. And okay. if there's room, I'm kicking him in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um, he, um, so after you slug him, his reaction is to uh, draw his gun. Mm -hmm. And um, so you see him, he gets his, um, he gets his hand on his pistol um, as he's on the ground. And, you know, there's only a couple feet between you and him and he's mm -hmm. got his hand on his pistol. That mm -hmm. was his action. So what's yours? I dive at him, right? Okay. Dive right at him with my hand straight out for his head and bash it down into the ground. All right, give him, give me another Ooh. fighting roll then. All right. Woo! Oh, ho, ho. a nine. Ooh. So that is uh, with a seventy-five. Let's just say that is uh, better than super good. All right. So, um, so you land on him, um, but he was also able to. Um, get out of the leather as you were jumping mm -hmm. and so um you land on him hard and um as you're watching Bo um and, and you your actions next Bo but as you see this um there's a huge boom right off the ground and uh you're probably close enough even that uh red mm -hmm. sprays right out the back of uh oak tree's leg <gasps> Um, Keeper, just for the record, I, I was looking for his weapon, and as soon as I saw his gun, I wanted to shoot at his gun if I have a clear shot of it. Oh, geez. Uh, you, <laughs> um, based on, so if, as he came around, you were on the front of the wagon, they were in the middle, and he, he came around so that he basically left bow and oak tree between you and, uh, between them and you. Okay. If it's um, obstructed, so I'm not going to take a shot, but. Yeah, 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 you would. Um, it'd be a, it'd be a really tough shot. Um, Oak tree, oh. uh, it, you barely feel it. It's, it's just a spray of blood that's uh, probably more unsettling um, than it actually. But it, it's coming right through the, um, the side of your leg. Mm -hmm. So probably, you know, you're gonna get a muzzle burn mm -hmm. and uh, uh, a little, uh, what would you call that? Like a little gap. Mm -hmm. it, in the side of the flesh of the leg the okay. bullets going it's not going like into the meat of the leg but it's definitely what do you call this call it a gouge yeah like it's gouging out the side of the leg well i got so many I, scars all over I, it. I up an you. old scar <laughs> yeah. well i'm gonna right. as soon as i saw him draw i'm going to uh because he had to have like drawn in a way that frees his arm i'm just gonna throw myself on his arm and with mm -hmm. pure animal ferocity holding nothing back i am just gonna <laughs> bite into his uh wrist oh, just fuck. tear as much meat out as i can oh. okay oh. all right Jesus. uh you can fight with advantage on that one Bo, because he's got oak tree on top of him all righty only thing that's in your way is your fever and oh. I don't even have to roll a second time. I got a, okay. nine, a nine. Oh man, you land. So, so that, that gun goes off and you spring right into action. Um, the weight, the gun goes off and then the weight of Oak tree landing in his chest pushes his arm out to the side a little bit. You seize the opportunity and you, I mean, you just lay there's, into there's that no wrist. Stopping. Um, I'm just tearing, tearing, tearing. Oh, I, I just want to, yeah. Just want to say uh, for for Oak Tree landing on someone, I remember telling you about it. I went above. You said it was okay. 
Oak Tree's actually size 90. So he's oh, gosh. above an 80. So he's a 90 for landing on someone. So whatever, whatever you want to do. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, you're big. Uh, Phil, I need you to make a sanity roll. If it is Jack, uh, he's the size of a bear as well. Yeah, it's a it's a big guy, oh. Oak Tree. It's a okay. really big guy. All right. No problem. Phil, did you miss base. that? Phil, did you miss that sanity <laughs> roll? Oh. <laughs> oh no! Uh -oh. I rolled a thirty. I rolled a. I rolled a thirty-six. My sanity now is thirty-five. <laughs> no, no, I did not make it. Okay, so uh -oh. you. Whoop, that D six just flew off the table. That can't be good. All right, uh, take take away four more points of sanity, Phil. Four. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Wow. As you're absolutely excited by this, like, can what appears to you in your mind to be this oh. cannibalistic oh, beast, right? God. Oh, like, oak tree on top of this body. Oh. Just, the wrist. This whole game is the worst <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> Right. Just, uh, <laughs> I don't know how so you react, but it really awful. triggers you to see like bows coming up, mouthfuls of blood pulling down the, the wrist. Like he's hit the artery at this point. And so even when he's not coming up, yeah. there's like spurts coming <coughs> up. And this guy's screaming as he's being crushed by oak oh, tree and, and eaten at the wrist. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh boy! Oh, say some for me! I'm diving in, and I just, I sprint over, and I like uh, your A one sauce. Yeah, I, pile I just, on. And I, and I like free dive onto this pile, and just like like a dog looking for a bone, just mouth open, slobber coming out, and I land on I, whatever is the easiestly exposed, if it's his forearm or wherever. And so uh, here, yeah. here's the problem, is that uh -huh. Oak Tree's on top and Oak Tree's a big guy, so I need to see a dex roll to see who you actually bite. Come on. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, the most exposed part is gonna be his head or his face. A three. Oh, oh, it's his face. Oh, it's his face. It's his face. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Yeah. So, um, oh, God. Phil Oak is Tree. a gourmet. He knows the face is the <laughs> finest. The absolute. The it's, an acquired, it's an acquired taste, but. Mm. How many characters are dying after this scene? <laughs> Oak Tree, I don't know how you're handling this, but Bo is like just base. He's, he's not eating him. He's just using his teeth as his kind of last full-on weapon he's yeah. got the arm I get that. Yeah. and he's ripping it apart and then phil comes <laughs> over your back on the other side can I, can yeah, I, go for can it I, please sure like a like like a like a star's lamprey and i land on his eye and and you just hear an incredible <laughs> oh. sucking sound as as i <laughs> pop his eye out <laughs> I can't believe I have to write this down. <laughs> oh. And like and like a melted cheese filled meatball bite down uh and and you know we'll go from there keeper but I you know <laughs> let your mind wander. All right. So <laughs> So this guy is no. uh this guy's uh, screaming. He's now blinded in one eye. Yeah. Is yeah. it a dominant eye? <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke, bad joke. Not a his, his, gun, <laughs> his gun's laying on the ground, and Florence, I'm guessing, oh, you're with Yaka. Florence is spared for this because she's staying with Yaka <laughs> on the other side of the wagon, I hope. Harold, what do you do? I mean, you're watching this. Uh, it, like, I don't know how like much a, I can see because if I can't get a clear shot, it, and More than this him. guy. Yeah. You just see uh, like three butts in the air, uh, like a pack of hyenas, yeah. like mauling uh, a guy in the middle of the desert. So not for nothing, I am picturing uh, as as 
Philip was on his way in there. I'm picturing it as a cartoon jackknife dive where he leaps into the air, does the perfect <laughs> 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 Same for me. That's what I visualize. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, the, good so, Lord. So we, do we get another? Do we get another action at this point, or what? What? What do you want to do? Yeah. Yeah. I. I would assume. Okay. At this point, having seen sussed it out a little bit, um, Oak Tree uh, with with. <laughs> The the problem is Oak Tree is the guy's not like dead. I mean, he just has his wrist bitten. Oh, oh no no no! That, that that's not that's not what he's concerned with. Um, so with Philip diving on him, that's what he's concerned about. Having known that Philip was tied up across, he knew heard the whole cannibalism thing, and he knows that this person, what Bo, he can sussed out for that. But this guy's Bo's, and so Oak Tree. Oak Tree pulls himself away from the Jack Crab character, but grabs Philip and pulls him off of the Jack Crab character because this Jack Crab is for Bo. Okay, as you as you do and pull him away, uh, this feller's big and strong, and he immediately comes flying up. And uh, Bo, give me a strength roll. Probably at disadvantage, though you got adrenaline. We'll just call it a straight strength roll. Give me a strength roll. You got it. Do it, Bo. Uh, yep, I made it. Just a regular uh, success. Okay. Uh, so he he comes he comes flying up and and pushes you not um not enough to like throw you back, but he pushes you back enough that he can sit up and um. And then he starts immediately like reaching for his gun. Um, okay, I also blood. Wait a minute, blood oh. pouring out of his eye socket. <laughs> um, his as he's reaching, like there's blood going all off his wrist into the sand. And I mean, you've gnawed a good wound enough that as he's reaching, there's like little squirts coming out of his wrist. Um, he's not in great shape, but uh, you know enough of an adrenaline fueled to push you off. And as he's reaching for his gun, it's it's like that total cinematic moment where it's about a foot out of his reach. Mm. It's all yours, Bo. And no, no, still no clear shot for me. Mm, a little clear. No, because because as he pushed Bo back, um, Bo kind of went back on his haunches, and this guy's, you know, went from prone to sitting up. So you're. You're still bows in between you and this feller. Okay, I'm still waiting, um, and I'm not looking to kill him. I'm I'm looking to wing him and make sure he doesn't get back to his gun. Yeah. If Actually, clear... is there is there a clear shot at his gun? Hmm. Oh, it'd have to be a really good... sure. You could do because I'm be a really... I'm prone yeah. with my rifle <laughs> propped on a horse, uh, so you know, like sniper style. Okay. All right, give me your roll. Yeah. 100. 100. I, I immediately 100. dove for the gun. So that's oh, going to oh, be happening. Wait, no, wait just it, yeah. you wouldn't have known that. So sure. it's happening okay. concurrently. That's a success, a regular success. Okay. A regular success isn't going to be enough. Okay. So um, the, the shot goes wide of the, the gun in the dirt. You, Bo, whether you take notice of it or not, a bullet kind of flew by and uh hit yeah. the dirt off to the side i'm so right. laser focused okay don't know what the hell a laser is but <laughs> <laughs> i'm focused all right uh, yep so i snatch up the gun and i'm not gonna kill him sitting down so i'm trying to actually i can't i've got the gun in one hand so it's a pathetic sight me trying to push myself up with one arm and a and a gun in my hand i guess i'm gonna have to give up and sit back down and uh i say uh oh, scooch back a bit i say oak tree uh oak tree let him up no oak tree's already off oh, it's I got, just, oak I, tree's already off yeah it's I just you him. i got philip away from him it's all you all right and is this description is he was sitting up when oh, he reached for his gun, yeah, right? So right, yeah. you'd so, he, you'd be shooting at him, shooting well, at him like half sitting. Yeah, you're both sitting. Oh, we're both or sitting half up or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so stay right where you are, there, Jack. Uh, your day of reckoning is at hand. 
All right, and nah. he's he's looking at you from his one eye, and his empty <laughs> socket is is kind of pouring down. Uh, Philip is like feverishly over <laughs> in the wings, uh, kind of salivating uh, as, as oak trees holding him back. Bo, you're you're a sight to behold. Your teeth are covered in blood. It's all in your beard, right from where you attacked his wrist. You're Veins sweating. Your teeth. You're feverish. <laughs> Yeah, and you're, you're you're staring you're staring at Jack Crab right now. Your gun drawn, and you're holding it at him. And he looks at you, and he says, "Bo Claremont, Ooh. you're too much of a goddamn fool to pull that trigger." Why, well, it's been many a year since. Uh... We laid eyes on each other. I hope you've been uh, living the high life on my gold. Hope you were able to squeeze some joy and prosperity out of life. Uh, I'm glad you recognize me. That's going to make this uh, much more enjoyable. And it's not just for me. It's for my sister, too. You have any last words? Hell. Boom. <laughs> I wasn't going to let him say shit. <laughs> 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 Bo just won the night. Nice. <laughs> and uh, the the bullet went right, whoop, actually right through the eye socket, through the old empty eye socket. Everything bursts right out the back of his head, and he just flops backwards. After you shoot him, you're filled with this deep sense of of closure on that moment. And for as long as you live, however short that may be, Beau Claremont, <laughs> you're filled with this lingering doubt that maybe you should have heard his final words. Yep. Well, that remains to be seen. All right. And with that, we'll call it an episode. That was fantastic. I'll help my friend Bo stand up. <laughs> thank you, Oak Tree. Wow. Well, thank you for joining us tonight under the library. Uh, I was not planning on this being done right now, so I'm not really prepared. Uh, <laughs> we'll be back next week. And until then, you can find us on underthelibrary.com or on Twitter, under the LIB. If you're listening to us on podcasts and want to see us, we're on YouTube. Vice versa, if you're on YouTube and you want to hear us. And by the way, if you are watching this on YouTube and you have not listened via podcast, there is some very, very funny stuff at the beginning and end of the audio-only episodes. And you can find those wherever you get your podcast. So for me, for Michael, for Chris, Wayne, Emily, Scott, and Rick, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you next time.